everyone, and today we will be making a death knight. So I thought I would make a death knight because I there's people who have not seen the uh, starting zones yet. So I thought that it would give them a good chance to actually see them. So, now that I've started, let's get into it. And I do plan on being quiet for the cinematic, so I shouldn't bother you at all. Our hero, that's what you once were. You stood boldly against the shadows and purchased another dawn for the world with your life. But the evil you fought is not so easily banished. The victory you claimed, not so easily held. For now, the specter of death looms above the world yet again, and it has found new champions to bring about its final reign. Knights of darkness, wielding runes of death and destruction, bound by the will of the Lich King. This is the hour of their ascension. This is the hour of your dark rebirth. Okay, so I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how that sounded and um, adjust all my settings so that way it sounds good. And so I can actually play. So I'll see you when that happens. Okay, so I am back from adjusting my settings. So let's start off with the game. I think he says this, so I'm not going to read it. Okay, so that sounded pretty cool. Uh, I've chosen the Frost specialization of the Death Knight because I always like it. You have heard the call of the Lich King Death Knight, now is the time to answer your master. A single most important piece of equipment to a Death Knight is a Rune Blade. It is through the Rune Blade that a Death Knight commands the powers of Frost, Blood, and Unholy. The Rune Blade also acts as a vessel to store the Death Knight's uh, runic power. The time has come to create your first rune blade. Search the weapon racks on this floor and locate a battle worn sword. Once found, take the sword to a nearby rune forge and use it to create a rune blade. There is not one there. Oh, there's one over there. Side effects of reanimation. I will read that after the video. You guys have to um, either leave a comment if you want me to read it, or I don't know. I guess that's it. Just leave a comment if you want me to read it in its own video, and I will. Is that it? Oh no. Okay, so it says here that I have to put it in the room forge. 
let's see. Uh, it's split. The rune blade is an extension of your being. A death knight cannot battle without a rune blade. Well done, Adrithor. You have successfully created your first rune bladed weapon. With it, you shall sow the seeds of chaos and destruction in the wake and shall be blood. Uh, in your wake will be blood. It will be a bloody field of battle littered with the corpses of all that would dare oppose the scourge. Let's put that right there. Uh, the mark of war is etched indelibly upon your soul, Death Knight. You have learned the dark art of rune forging, and with it you will engrave runes of power upon your weaponry. Preparations for battle must be made. Return to one of these rune forges here in the heart of Acris and use the power of rune forging to ablaze your weapon with a rune of power. Return to me when your blade glows with dark energy. I'm going to go to this one over here because no one's over here. I'm going to equip that. Engrave. There. Now let's go back to him. Uh, remember these words, Death Knight. The Rune Forge is a scourge instrument. It exists only in Acris, next Ramus, in the heart of Ice Crown. You may only unblaze your weapon, re a Rune Forge. Return often to unblaze all of your weapons. A Death Knight must be prepared for all that would dare to oppose him. The endless hunger will soon take hold of you, Death Knight. When it does, you will feel pain immeasurable. There's only one remedy for that suffering. The hunger must be sated. I give you the key to your salvation. Chained to the heart of Acris are those deemed unworthy of the Dark Brotherhood. Use the key to free an unworthy initiate, allow them to equip their gear and battle you for their freedom or battle you for their freedom. Kill and the pain will cease. Fail and suffer for eternity. Leave live or die. The choice is yours to make. We don't want to battle. I think I'm going to battle this undead guy. I will win my freedom and leave this cursed place. Okay, that was an easy fight. Sadly, it will not be the last. As expected, my chosen knight has triumphed. You are ready, Adrithor. Wait, don't leave. Behold, Acris, the grand citadel of death. It has no equal in this world. Not even the mighty Nax Ramus can withstand a direct assault from the Evan Hold. Looming above the face of the necropolis is the all seeing eye of Acris. Uh, from it, the master is able to see great distances into territories held by our enemies. Uh, what the eye sees, the Lich King sees. And now, the time has come for you to peer through the eye. The Lich King has called for you, Andrathor. Go now. Suffer well, brother. So, let's go over there. Talk to the Lich King. Uh, the time to thanks for interrupting me. The time to spill the blood of our enemies approaches. You must first learn what it is that you seek to destroy before rushing headlong into battle. It is what separates a death knight from a mindless ghoul. I will grant you sight beyond sight, my my champion. You will use the eye of Acris to steal our enemy's secrets. 
Towering above this platform is the Eye of Acris. From it, you will call forth a probe that you will use to analyze Scarlet Crusade fortifications in at New Avalon. The Eye has a host of powers that should make the acquisition of this simple of this data simple. Use the Eye's siphon to analyze the forge, town hall, hold, and chapel. The eye's control mechanisms are located on either side of the platform, wasting no more time, Edrithal. The Scourge will have this place. The Lich King commands it. Let's see. Your number one, Siphon of Acris. Targets a Scarlet Crusade structure and gathers tactical information associated with a building and its location. I can't zoom out of it. Uh, number two, summon ghouls on Scarlet Crusade. Uh, calls forth friendly ghouls and attackers, attack aggressors, giving you time to get the Eye of Acris to safety. Okay, number three, Shroud. Shroud's the Eye of Acris. Break uh, from sight, combat, and actions. Break Shroud. So now let's Shroud the whole group. Siphon the hold, and go into our stealth. Go over here, you look, there's someone else. Um, come up to the forge and siphon it. Yeah, this quest is pretty easy. You shouldn't even have to use your, uh, your ghoul summoning. Let's do the town hall. Yeah, if you go where I'm going, you shouldn't really even have to um, like attack anything. And then the chapel is right up over here. Your number five is your basic cancel. Yeah. So now that we finished all that, let's go back and talk to the Lich King again. Um, they prefer they prepare for battle, as expected. But there is something else. I sense an old enemy, an enemy that I destroyed long ago. It matters not. We will send the full might of the scourge against them before they have a chance to evacuate their homes and put in place their defenses. Listen well, Death Knight. For you, I give you the words that will start war. My final judgment has been passed. Death to all. None shall stand so boldly against the might of the scourge without reprisal. As you have served me well in your first task, you too shall serve me in the next task. Take my judgment, I, Lord Mulgrain, at the command post. Of Agoras found on the first floor. Tell him to begin the assault. And when the crusade has been dealt with, we will finish off the Argent Dawn. So for this, the transport is this. It just puts you down here. So once you talk to him, you will be getting Dominion over an Acris, which is while an Acris, the Death Knight is able to move 75% faster, which is really good. And this, this necklace. The horns of war will echo soon across this land, waking the dead and calling forth the scourge war machine. Woe unto those that would stand in our way. You and your brethren will lead the charge, Edgerthal. When next I look upon the scarlet lands, my sight will be obscured by the legions of Acris. The march upon New Avalon begins now. Uh, Scourge Commander Thalinor awaits your arrival at the overhang from being located directly southeast of the current location or position. Report to Thalinor uh, and requisition a Scourge Griffin to deliver you to Death's Breach. Prince Thalinor will be waiting for you down below. Suffer well, brother. Oh, there's another quest over here. Let's equip that necklace that we got earlier. And talk to this guy. 
Uh, within the Hall of Command, you will find the schools of Blood, Frost, and Unholy. Each school is a trainer that can provide you with knowledge in the various dark arts. I, Lord Thorval, am the headmaster of the School of Blood, Lady Alice. Alice Strong reigns over the Unholy, over there, and the Arglitch, Amal Fazad, holds dominion over Frost. Uh, you will return here whenever you gain power and train. You don't really have to do that anymore, ever since Mists of Pandora, which was about five years ago. So, yeah. Um, there, there he is. The war has begun, Death Knight. I shall place you upon my finest griffin and deliver you to Death's Breach. Chaos, death, and destruction. You will herald all in all of this and more. Below Acre stands Death's Breach, the staging point for our assault upon the Scarlet Crusade. You are to ride one of my scourge griffins located on either side of this platform and report to, Fr to Prince Valdar. Do as he says. And you may live to see these lands fall before us. So let's take this. And he will be right down there. Let's go over there. There he is. Do you smell it? Fresh meat. The scent of Scarlet Crusader wafts through the air. Apologies, Demon Hunter. I'm sure you're not interested in my choice of fine cuisine. You're here to work. Lead the charge. Yes, I know. The Lich King has told me all that I need to know about you, Edgethor. The time for bloodshed is now. So, now that we have finished with that, um, with that quest, I am going to be ending the video. So, see you, and let me know if you guys want other start zones too, like uh, Demon Hunter, Blood Elf, any of them. I plan on doing Gildaeus because that is my other favorite starting zone. So, goodbye.